Hey guys, it's Biggest AG Fan Ever here back again, and the other day I went to the American Girl Place Chicago. This means that I got an up-close look at Blair Wilson at her entire collection. So today I'm going to be giving you guys my opinions and my overall review on Blair and her collection. I'm going to be grading every item in her collection with the following four categories. Age appropriateness, product appearance, play value, and quality. Those are the four categories that American Girl asks their customers to review their products on. So I will give each category a star from 1 to 5, as well as every product an overall rating of 1 to 5. And I will also tell you if I think it is worth it for that amount of money. So let's get started. What you are seeing right now on the screen is actually a setup of how Blair Wilson's collection looks right when you walk in the doors of the American Girl Place Chicago. There are actually a couple of different locations throughout the store where her stuff is located. So I thought I would just show you overall what it looks like. So first off, I'm going to be reviewing Blair Wilson herself. She retails for $115. Age appropriateness, I'm going to give her a 5 out of 5 because I feel like her hair is the perfect length to style. Product appearance, I'm also going to give her a 5 out of 5 because I really like that watercolor braid on her and the dress is pretty cute. Play value, I'm going to give her a 3 out of 5 because the waterfall braid is going to be hard to upkeep as well as the dress is kind of plain because there's no jacket or anything to go with it so I feel like you need another outfit as well. And quality, I'm going to give her a 4 out of 5 because I don't really like the material that her body cloth is made out of. It's like a newer material and it's not a good of a quality. So overall, Blair Wilson gets a 4 out of 5 for me. Next up is Blair's accessories and these retail for $30. Age appropriateness, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 because there are a lot of stickers in this set which seems almost childish. Product appearance is 2 out of 5 because a lot of the items in this set have been repeated from past American Girl sets such as the tablet and the pen. Play value is going to be a 3 out of 5 because there doesn't seem to be a lot of stuff to do with this set. The only thing that I can really see is the clipboard where you can write stuff down on it. And quality, I'm going to give it a 2 out of 5 because it is just a lot of paper and plastic. So overall, this set gets a 2.5 from me. Next up we have Blair's Lamb, and this retails for $25. Age appropriateness, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5 because I feel like it is perfect for the age demographic. Product appearance, I'm going to have to give it a 5 out of 5 because it is absolutely adorable. Play value, also a 5 out of 5 because I feel like it'll be really cool to have farm animals, which is unique. And quality, a 5 out of 5 as well because this lamb was really, really high quality. So overall, this lamb gets a 5 out of 5 from me. Up next, we have Blair's Garden, which retails for a whopping $50. Age appropriateness, I'm going to give this a 3 out of 5 because there is a lot of plastic and it reminds me more of something with a Wally Wishers. Product appearance, I'm going to give it a 2 out of 5 because you can really, really tell that this is plastic. Like, the basket is plastic and not wicker, like past things. Play value, I'm going to give it a 2 out of 5 because there really isn't much to do with this set. Like, you just kind of move the plants around. And quality, I'm going to give it a 1 out of 5. I honestly would give it a 0 out of 5 if it wasn't for the chicken in the set because everything is literally plastic. So overall, this gets a 2 out of 5. Next up we have the garden accessories which retail for $20. I don't really have much to say about this set because there isn't really much to this set. So age appropriateness gets a 5 out of 5, product appearance gets a 5 out of 5, play value gets a 4 out of 5 because there isn't really much to the set, and quality gets a 4 out of 5 because some of the materials seem a little thin. So overall this product gets a 4.5 out of 5 from me. Next up is Blair's Floral Flare Outfit, and this retails for $28. This is my least favorite outfit in the entire collection, and you'll see why. Age appropriateness gets a 2 out of 5 because the pink and the purple seems really childish together. Product appearance gets a 1 out of 5 because I don't feel like it's a real outfit. I feel like it's something that they put together at the last minute. Play value gets a 1 out of 5 because I really don't see the point of this outfit or when it would be used besides with dolls that are really girly girly. Quality gets a 2 out of 5 because it just looks and feels very cheap. So overall this outfit gets a 1 out of 5 and I do not recommend it. 
Now that we talked about my least favorite outfit, let's get into my favorite outfit, which is Blair's Garden Outfit. It retails for $32. Age appropriateness, I would give it a 5 out of 5. Product appearance, I would give it a 4 out of 5, only because you can see her underwear from the sides of the overalls. Play value, I would give it a 5 out of 5 because it would be perfect for the garden or a farm. Quality, I give it a 4 out of 5 because the buttons were kind of loose in the one in the stores. So I feel like it could almost fall off and because of the underwear, because the fabric is not tall enough. So overall, this item gets a 4 out of 5 from me. Here is Blair's Piglet and this retails for $20. One thing that American Girl does amazing is animals. So age appropriateness gets a 5 out of 5. Product appearance gets a 5 out of 5 because it is something that is just unique and different. Play value gets a 5 out of 5 because it goes amazing with the whole farm setting and quality gets a 5 out of 5 because this is top notch quality. So overall this little piglet gets a 5 out of 5. Next up is Blair's party decor and this retails for $85. Age appropriateness gets a 4 out of 5 because it is easy to use for young kids. Product appearance gets a 2 out of 5 because you can really tell that it is plastic and paper. Play value gets a 3 out of 5 because the only real thing that you can use this for is a wedding. And quality gets a 1 out of 5 because I cannot stress you are paying $85 for literal plastic and paper. And it's like why so overall this set gets a two out of five and i don't really like it at all next up is another one of my favorite outfits and it is blair's bridesmaids dress this retails for 36 dollars age appropriateness i give it a five out of five because it is easy to put on product appearance i give it a five out of five because it looks really classy and nice play value i give it a four out of five because it is not really versatile for everyday use and quality, I give it a 5 out of 5 because this is really American Girl, like, original quality. Like, way back in the early 2000s and 90s, this is, like, that top-notch quality. So overall, I have to give this dress a 5 out of 5. Up next is Blair's In Bloom Pajamas, and these retail for $24. Age appropriateness, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. Product appearance, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 because I do not like the slippers. The puffball reminds me of Tinkerbell. Play value gets a 4 out of 5 because there's nothing really special about them. And quality gets a 4 out of 5 because I do not like the material on the inside of the slippers as well as the puffball material. So overall this outfit gets a 4 out of 5. Lastly is the big ticket item which is Blair's Family Farm Restaurant and this retails for $300. Okay, um, age appropriateness gets a 4 out of 5 because it would be hard to lift up the set to get to the dance floor and change it from the grass to the dance floor. Product appearance gets a 3 out of 5 because there is just plastic, plastic, and more plastic. Everything in this set is basically plastic and it shows. Play value gets a 1 out of 5 because there is only one of each type of food minus the cornbread which there are 4 of and other than that there are just stickers for food. Yeah, stickers. And the set as a whole just breaks easily. Literally this one at the store has been there for less than a week and it was already broken. Like the top cabana part was already broken off and I was trying to reattach it for the photos but it doesn't really look as good as it should. So quality also gets a 1 out of 5 because it is literally all plastic besides the walls which are wood. I expected at least the table and the chairs to be made out of wood as well. And like I said it was already broken so it shows that it is very very cheap quality. So overall this set gets a 2 out of 5. With all of that being said, Blair's collection gets a total of 42.5 points out of 60 points, which equates to a 3.5 out of 5 star rating. So it is definitely not the worst collection we've had, but it is not the best collection either. I do like the uniqueness of the farm aspect, and it relates well to me out here in the Midwest, where literally all there is around me is farms and cornfields. 
So yeah, I do have to agree though with small dolls when she talks about how there are not enough doll of colors, especially in the girl of the year line itself. We have not seen enough. Literally while I was filming this, two girls of color came in and were talking about how they liked Blair Wilson. They did say though that they weren't going to get her because she didn't look like them and they felt like there were no dolls in the store that they could really relate to or that looked like them. Which is really sad to me. Personally, in my opinion, I feel like we need an Asian girl of the year. We have not had an Asian girl of the year forever. But yeah, that's just my opinion. Let me know down in the comments below your opinion on Blair Wilson and her collection as a whole. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and like this video if you enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!